And by the way, I'll just say this uh, real quick. Throughout the whole show, depending on how long it goes, you can still put anything in this bucket. Um, we'll just write a bunch of ideas up there, and I'll just grab them, and I'll put them up here, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this first comic. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Derek Dunfall! <laughs> Thank you, Chandler. Well, as long as we can put anything in the bucket, um, you guys having a good day? <laughs> All right. This is my glasses cleaning cloth. I don't know what you were... Anyways. Hmm, just got a new one from Walmart. Hey. You got great eyebrows, dude. <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of keratin coming out of your head. It's another way of saying you have a lot of hair. It's good. I think I'm riding a thin line of, like, almost offending somebody right now. But he's smiling. He's fucking... He's with it. Hell yeah. Uh um, I've been seeing a, a lot of signs saying speed cushions ahead. <laughs> and one time I, I, I didn't see it coming and I just blasted over him at 30 miles an hour. I was like, that felt just like a pillow. <laughs> what would I have done if it didn't have a memory foam core? <laughs> All right, well, maybe I'll tell you more about speed cushions later, but I'm going to reach for this. Still got great hair. Still got great hair. Huh. Tall tales and myths. Tall tales and myths. Yeah, well, just like, hang on, what was it? Because just the other day, I was telling someone, ah, I was telling someone a story about, like, where something happened five times, and I, but then I just said six. I said six. Even though I know it's five, I, I was going to say five, but then I said six. Something about, something about things that impact... All right. Um, um, mm, anyone ever gone fishing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tall tales and myths. Well, look, this, is, this is very abstract. All right. Now, I did a degree in abstract mathematics, but I, I for some reason, don't like how abstract this is, right? Because if you have every choice in front of you at any given moment, you're not going to choose anything good. You're like, because what do we think of first? We think of the worst things. We don't think of the best things, right? He was saying, don't talk about sex. And then I immediately thought, it's like, well, it definitely wasn't that story. But I thought the time when I said six instead of five was when I was talking about fucking. All right, I'm not going to say that word again. <laughs> But I remember, yeah, but well, it was funny how, like, Chandler said, was like, yeah, we'll avoid that topic. And then the next thing that he said was like, yeah, so this is a place where you can come and just talk about your new jokes. I felt like the pause was suggestive. Perhaps I've done... <laughs> Anyways, yeah. It... Perhaps, maybe my maybe my humor is juvenile because... because because the other teenagers I grew up around would do nothing but make shitty, shitty, shitty and double entendres and shitty sex puns. But then, okay, I'm saying sex. I'm not talking about sex. I'm saying, okay, so shitty sex puns. Yeah, no, I gotcha. No, I, I knew it was a, a time light. I'm getting kind of sweaty up here. Anyone else hot up there? <laughs> I think we're doing great so far. I'm going to leave that in there for someone else to struggle with later. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I think you guys are great. Make some noise for the buzz mill. Keep it going for all your bartenders in there. Chan LaRoe, Colton Jones, all your other comics. Yeah. And keep it going for yourself. Thank you. Hello. Chandler. Chandler, yeah. I'm confused. Am I bringing...